So, so what happens? We we just discussed that it at fifty degrees centigrade behaves like a gas. At at thirty degrees centigrade again behaves like a gas. Now, as you start compressing, so so suddenly what happens at at about at about thirty nine point eight. 30.9 degrees centigrade. Okay. 9, 8 degree centigrade. Degree centigrade. What happens when the pressure reaches 73, 73 atmosphere? Then for the first time, then, then for the first time, the 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 liquid the liquid at at the 73 atmosphere in the first time the the liquid liquid co2 appears and beyond this if you compress then it 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 is all it is all liquid so here it was gas when it touched the peak and here it is all liquid and suddenly you'll see that this line has become very sharp. Why? Because, because now for, for an incremental change in volume, so, so, so per unit change in volume and okay, per unit change in volume, the amount of pressure that you have to increase is very, very high. Why? Because it has all got converted into liquid. So, 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 so beyond this point, beyond this, it is all a liquid. Understand that? Okay. Beyond no, 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 beyond this, beyond, beyond this, yes. After it has touched, touched this kind of thing, uh, you, you'll understand the significance of this. Okay. So here it has become absolutely liquid so so here it is in in the liquid state and here it is in gaseous state okay now what happens okay now what happens this is the maximum temperature at which you have you have have liquid carbon dioxide okay so 30.98 degree centigrade is the maximum temperature at which at which co2 exists at exists as liquid okay now what have we seen is this let us try to understand we can we can convert a gas into liquid by increasing the intermolecular forces okay increasing the intermolecular forces how can i increase the intermolecular forces by bringing them them closer together how do i do that by increasing the pressure by increasing the pressure okay by increasing the pressure now if that was so, then mere increase in pressure would have achieved, achieved liquefaction of gases. But the trouble is, it does not. It does not. There is also a certain temperature that is required. Why? Because maybe, maybe due to the kinetic energy of the molecules, you will never be able to increase the intermolecular forces beyond a point and it will never liquefy. So, so a, a, a minimum temperature is also required. Okay. A minimum temperature is also required. So, at 50 degrees centigrade, you do whatever you want to do. You crush it to as small a volume as you can. It will not turn into a liquid. Get the point. It will not turn into a liquid. At 31 degree centigrade, it does not turn into liquid, whatever be the pressure. Okay? 
so so both the combination of the temperature as well as the pressure is required to achieve the liquefaction understand because until and unless you you reduce the temperature to a certain level the kinetic energy does not go down okay the, the molecules do not become slow enough to be captured by each other and and turn into a bulk okay so 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 that is the critical temperature okay this is called the critical temperature critical temperature for for co2 so how do i define the critical temperature how do i define the critical temperature it is the maximum temperature the maximum temperature at which the maximum temperature below which the liquid the, the, the gas turns into a liquid now the volume of one mole of gas at the critical temperature is called the critical volume the critical volume <coughs> and the pressure at this temperature is called okay these three are called the critical constant the, the critical temperature pressure and the volume is called the critical constant is called the critical constant so so critical volume critical pressure okay <clears throat> now beyond this point there has been a steep rise because because the gas has turned into liquid so you should understand that 
the sudden change in the slope of the isotherm. Okay. Now, let us come to a lower temperature, say, say 21.5 degrees centigrade. So, what ha happens? So, so, add, add, how much? 25.1 degree centigrade. Add. 25.1 degree centigrade, it is able to remain a gas only till this point. Okay. Beyond this, as you increase the, 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 as, as you, as you decrease the volume, as you try to compress it, the pressure does not increase. It's a straight line. It is a straight line, yes. This. This, no, that cannot be a straight line. This is not a straight line. Cannot be a straight line because it is a PV curve. Simple. Simple as that. Okay. So, so what is happening after it hits this, what happens? As you, as you decrease, as, as you pressurize it, as you try to decrease the volume, what happens? Suddenly, more and more moles of it keeps on getting converted into liquid. So the number of moles in the gaseous state keeps on decreasing. Understand? Understand? So the pressure remains a constant. It, it does in such a way that the pressure remains a constant. And at this point, it has suddenly become all liquid. So, so the, so the PV curve suddenly increases like that. This. this is pretty simple. No? Hmm? The pressure is a constant. Hmm? This is 21.5 degrees centigrade. At 21.5 degrees centigrade, this happens. This part is still the PV diagram. Why should you get confused? How will it become a straight line? You tell me that. In the gaseous state, it has to behave like a gas. <coughs> PV constant. Even if it is not ideal, even if it is non-ideal, right, if it is real, then too it cannot be a straight line. Just cannot be. Correct. Okay. Okay. Yes. As you compress it, what happens? What happens? The N. As you start compressing, the number of moles of the gas starts becoming 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 liquid so so n gas actually decreases yes but but liquid uh, liquid is liquid right so so as long as there is no gas the pressure keeps on dipping right so v comes down so try to understand p into v is equal to n r t P is equal to N R T upon V. P is constant, R is constant. So as as you as you sort of halve it, this also gets halved. You compress it, make it half. So N also becomes half. So ha half the mole at that point becomes liquid. Pressure remains constant. That's why P remains a constant. Right. 